Welcome to Marriage Mondays, where we talk about all things marriage and, of course, most importantly, family. Thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in and listening. Thank you guys so much for your support. Thank you. This is Marriage Mondays. Hi guys, welcome back to Marriage Mondays. And on today's episode, we are going to be talking about love yours and appreciating what you have now so if you want to know what our thoughts are about this topic keep on watching hey babe what up a lot of people think everything glitters is gold and the grass is greener and in actuality it's not and it's not because it's not your life it's not what you are supposed to be dealing with but um have you struggled with (laughs) have you struggled with wanting something from someone else and it doesn't even have to necessarily be relationship wise it could be anything definitely not as of late when i when i say as of late i mean like i guess I would say after true adulthood, um, I don't feel like I got to true adulthood until maybe around about 20, uh, 30-ish, somewhere in there. When the brain develops. (laughs) Um, Because, I mean, that's when I, I really got a chance to see life and, and kind of see everything that that you know life had to alter so yeah like just just seeing a lot of different people seeing a lot of different people in a lot of different situations um it made me realize that i mean people it is it's just kind of is it is what it is type of thing um i mean i've always wanted other things but to look at somebody else and or some other situation and be like well i want to be like that or i want that like this person or i want to be in this situation uh because i seen this i i haven't i haven't done that in you know probably over 10 years i mean and like i said and it's been so long i really can't even remember when it was the last time i really like looked at somebody and was like you know, I wish I was in their situation or I wish, you know, my situation was different like this situation. I mean, of course, like I said, you always want to get better. You always want to elevate. You always, you know, if anything is going wrong or bad, you you know, you want to fix it and you want to, you know, get to a better spot. But to look at somebody else's situation and wanting to be like that, no, it's, it's been a minute. Yeah, I just think personally, and I don't want to use the word weird, but I think it is a little, I'll say disheartening when other people want what someone else has or wish that there were something else. And I mean, I you can say it's the same thing as people saying, oh, well, what about idols? Like I look up to this person or I aspire to be this person. It's like. I love what Serena Williams said. The lady asked her, like, who do you look up to or who do you want to be when you grow up? And she was like, I want to be Serena. I want to be Serena. (laughs) And I'm just like, yes, you should want to be yourself. Like, uh, Like, the fingerprints that are on our hands, these are our fingerprints. No one else has your fingerprints in this world and i think that's amazing and what comes with that is also what god has for you it's only your life and if you can't live your life who else is going to live it for you only you can live it so you shouldn't really expire to be anyone or is it expire that's an expire (laughs) that's not right (laughs) 
<laughs> inspire to be someone else you should want to be yourself like i just want like once we get to the i don't know child i ain't never died went to heaven or nothing but i just want to know if there's like a list of things that god has and he's just like yeah this is everything you were supposed to do and accomplish and that would just suck if you were sitting up here trying to be someone else uh, it's kind of like what we were talking about the other day about how um you can ask advice for someone and i was like yeah you can ask advice for someone how to get to the steps but if you they may have done 10 steps, but if you were with the guy first, you only probably got to do one, you know, but I know it's a lot of people who feel lost and they don't know who they are, but it's just like, I promise you, if you try God, I promise you, you'll find out who you are and you can start on the path of living your own life. But I just think it's disheartening to even want to be or want to have what someone else has. Like, first of all, I don't want to go through what you went through. <laughs> I don't want to go through what you went through. <laughs> I want to go through what I ain't want to go through. I don't want to go through all them hoops and hollows and all of that. Which, I mean, you probably will have to anyway. But I just want to go down my own path for my life and... Things that you see are very fake. Instagram is very fake. TikTok, YouTube, very fake. You never really know what's going on behind closed doors. Kind of like you said on another episode. You just never know what people are going through. So why would you want what someone else has? You don't even know what's going on up in there. But yeah, I think I was just about to say that though. I think a lot of people... A lot of people do it and don't even realize that they're doing it. So, like, a lot of people, mm -hmm. a lot of people want things that, you know, like you just said, that you see and that, you know, the world tell you this is, this is cool. This I is because it looks good. Exactly. They tell you this is what you, you know, the, yeah, the world tells you it creates these boxes to put people in and yeah. you know they tell you you gotta look this way you gotta mm -hmm. act this way mm -hmm. you gotta be doing this when you here you gotta be doing that mm -hmm. when you're there <laughs> you gotta be you know it, it, it and so what happens is typically we'll get in this situation where you know to that point we'll see somebody else is quote unquote successful or succeeding or you know whatever it is whether it's fame or money or or just you know looking good or or whatever it is that you know this person is the the example mm -hmm. of um and and you know we i think a lot of times unconsciously Sometimes people will put in their mind and, and be like, okay, well, I need to be like this person. I want to be like that person. I got to be, I got to be like this person. Mm -hmm. But not realizing that, again, to that point, what got that person to this current situation that you see? What did they do? Yeah. What did, what did they sacrifice? What did, you know, do you really want to be? like that person mm -hmm. or do you just want what that person has and and then so then at that point you know again to your point yes it could come easier but it also could come harder because mm -hmm. again you're that's not that's probably not even where you need to be probably not even where you should be right it's not you know it, it's, <laughs> it's probably not what you must be doing you, you <laughs> could be completely off base on what's supposed to be happening for you mm -hmm. and so you getting stuck in this situation where the only thing you're thinking about is you know again this is i'm here but i need to be there or i look like this but i need to look like that or, i got this amount of money but i should or could or would have this type of money I mean, at the end of the day, you just got to be 
you got to be thankful and be grateful for what you got yeah. for such a time as this. And you just you keep it moving. I mean, like I said, you don't never necessarily want to be complacent and be content if you feel like you're not doing your best or you feel like you're not, um, you don't, you don't have the best what life has to offer you when you feel like you could do something about it. But don't be looking at somebody else mm -hmm. trying to get what they have or looking at somebody else as the example that has to come from you and it has to come from your your heart. And, and, and to your point, it needs to come from God. You need to be convicted and, okay, God, I could, I know I could have, I could have did better. Mm -hmm. I know these last five years I've been trash. Mm -hmm. All right, I got some fixing to do. I got some work to do. Mm -hmm. I I realize that I put myself here. It ain't had nothing to do with nobody else. Mm -hmm. it, didn't, it didn't have nothing to do with, oh, well, my cousins and them, all of them got this, this, and that, and my friends and my and the people that I went to high school with and this and that, they got that, this and that, and this. Because... I can guarantee you for every good person that you can point out, you can point out a bad person too. Mm -hmm. But yet sometimes we get in these situations, we want to point out the bad people for certain situations. Then we want to point out the good people for certain situations. But you really literally have to take the good and the bad all at the same time. I can't point out all my bad cousins when it's convenient for me and then point out all my good cousins when it's convenient for me. Yeah. It, it all is it's all wrapped in the same and and believe it or not the quote-unquote bad cousins or whatever you could have been just like them if you didn't make this the right decisions one way or another and i'm saying cousins but it could be friends it could be acquaintances it could be classmates it could mm -hmm. be co-workers it could be just randos in the street whatever you could have been just like them because you were human just like them but your Maybe your upbringing was a little different. Maybe your parents made a certain decision, one here and one there. Maybe maybe you seen this and you went right when you could have went left. Mm -hmm. But understand that everybody, any any and everybody can be here or there at any time. There is not one person in this world who who can't go from 100 to zero overnight. And people say, well, the richest man in the world, he can't be broke tomorrow. <laughs> Let God work. Like anything can happen. At the anything can happen. Look at COVID. Look what COVID did. In a few measly weeks, yeah. the virus shut everything Brave. down. Like, woo, like wildfire. So it's like, and, and, and you know, when stuff like that happened, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, then people, you know, people get real grateful. People, people start talking about, you know, oh, how thankful I am for this and how thankful I am for that. And you, you, you're thankful for a lot because there's a lot of loss around you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and, and it looked like nobody is winning. But when you start seeing people winning again, quote unquote, winning again. You want to win too, so I mean, like I said, I mean, I get it. I understand how people can can fall into the, that trap, and you know, mm -hmm. want to get into a situation where they feel like you know they could be like I said, they can be better. Everybody want to be better, and no nobody. Well, I'm saying everybody. Some people just trash, but I mean, I mean, they just you know they they aspiring to be anything, but um. Yeah content yeah but um most people the vast majority always want to get better they always want more they always want to do better but what's the motives behind it mm -hmm. like what are you trying to well what's the what's the purpose of, of getting better what's the purpose of having more money what you trying to do with it mm -hmm. what's mm -hmm. what's so special about money mm -hmm. are you going to give it to the poor I mean, I'm no, I'm gonna buy these shoes that I had seen. I need more shoes in my shoe collection. Yeah, I mean, it, it can like I get over it. 
<laughs> this, I do good with with the with with the blessing that you have been given, it. and mm. I can guarantee you, if you don't put enough good out in the world, then you will lose it. Mm. I ain't no ain't no doubt in my aunt. And the crazy part about it is, that's you know where where things get real deep is. You might not see it lost in your lifetime. You might not. Maybe. But your kids might see it. Or they or your kids' kids might see it where you thought you had created this generational wealth. So everybody like to call it right now. This generational wealth. Everybody likes to talk about, oh, I'm creating generational wealth. Okay. If you if it's not if it's not treated correctly. Your generational wealth would be generational poverty very quickly. And Well, it's, it's actually in the Bible, and I'm gonna put the verse somewhere, but Jesus was like, I'm gonna curse your fourth generation. Huh. I love what J. Cole said about saying like there's no such thing as a life that's better than yours at all. Like it really isn't like it's really is honestly really the devil when he said that we do not wrestle a fight with flesh and blood like because people are trying to figure out so bad like why do i want these things why do i want this person's life so bad like why and and, and the crazy part is i wish we could just click a button and have it so that y'all could understand like some of y'all probably will actually be miserable some of y'all probably can't handle it. And and I know I and I know a lot of like women and men want families, want husbands and wives, want a nice job, but somebody has to be the rich auntie. Somebody got to be the rich uncle. Somebody got to be you know Oh, go to Uncle go to Uncle House and he, he got all the pay per view. I know that's so old pay per view. They don't have that anymore. <laughs> but it, they got a lot of money. That's what it used to be back in the day. If you had a lot of money, you had the pay per view and you had the party at your house. That's when we knew, oh, you got money. That's how we used to could tell back in the day. Y'all ain't had, you ain't did it. Whoever had the pay per view of wrestling. Oh well, yeah, we did. Yeah, maybe that's a <laughs> early ninety baby thing or something. But um, yeah, like, and that's why I say every you can't want what someone else has because you probably can't even much deal with that, or you'll probably hate it. Like you think you want something so bad, and then you get it, and then you'd be like, "Oh, this is it. Mm-hmm. This ain't what it was all cracked up." to be I kind of wish I had my old life back like you just never know like so it's just like continue to search God seek ye first the kingdom when you seek God first he will guide you throughout your life and it's just it's just so true like don't follow worldly people imagine how many people looked up to certain people I should say in this world and now they're spiraling down and it's like uh, now what they do well you weren't supposed to be idolizing this person in the first place but then like i always say to people are fickle this is one of my sayings is one of the things and it's but it's one of the things that i live by i understand that just like because i understand first off number one i know that there's people out there um, that they they looking at they looking at other they looking at somebody else like I said they're looking at somebody else's relationship they're looking at somebody else's fame they seeing them you know they got this type of you know female or, or male or, you know spouse or whatever and they they live on they on top of the world they a power couple all this old stuff and 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 they just seem so happy and not knowing the second the camera goes off 
what those people got going on behind closed doors or like I said when the camera goes off um and when you when, when you when you get a chance to you know look behind the curtain as they say or, or whatever how whatever little you know analogy you want you want to use a metaphor you want to use when you get a chance to to see people outside of what's on camera you realize you know very quickly that you probably don't want that it's just and and i think that's part of the you know i wish to be honest that people can see the real people in which they idol and in which they 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 aspire mm. to be so much mm. because that is really what will be a telltale that is what will show you this this the you looking at the representative you looking at the image of what this person wants to show you mm -hmm. now you gotta understand even if even if you look at a two hour three hour video of somebody you take you know, the Cat Williams interview that Shannon Shaw had. Mm -hmm. Cat Williams got up there and talked for three hours. Mm -hmm. You know, whether he was telling the truth or lying or, you know, some people say he was hating, some people, you know, and, and you know, a lot of what he was saying was kind of what, you, you know, what I was kind of, I guess, alluding to as far as comparison. Mm hmm you know, that's just another form of jealousy. Don't worry about what nobody else got going on. Don't worry about it, bro. Like you all you can do if if you go to if you can't go to them or you 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 feel like you can get a message to them, you say your piece and you just move on. Like that's all you can do. You really honestly can't worry about what nobody else go, got going on. Um I mean, you can you can get your opinion, but you know, to sit there and, and really kind of, you know, hover on what you like and dislike about what this person did or didn't do and what could or should have happened for you or what would have happened for you if this person didn't do this. And it's like, okay, but look at what did happen mm -hmm. they are we are we gonna are we gonna spend as much time on what did happen on what didn't happen mm. because i i find it that we always like to dwell on what didn't happen and we don't spend as much time on what did happen yeah that's why i say you have to be grateful and thankful for what you have now in the season that you're in now, some people could be struggling or feel like, well, I hate this season. Enjoy it. It's beauty in the struggle, literally. Like, oh. just just be grateful for what you have now. Because trust me, someone has it way worse than you. And I know sometimes that's not a lot of comfort for some people but do something that you enjoy just relax clear your mind and stop stop want, want, wanting what someone else has because nine times out of ten it might not even be really what it is it might be a, a whole freaking facade mm -hmm. and then like i said number two you probably can't even deal with it you probably gonna get it and be like oh never mind i don't want it no more and it's like nope no taxi backsies okay <laughs> last point that i would say would be also to just know and understand that there is somebody out there that wants to be you mm -hmm. trust and believe it's literally probably everybody in the world there is somebody that wants to be that person and you would say Witch, stop doing that <laughs> huh? yeah exactly and don't and it's not I saying that it's, it's a good thing but while your stupid behind is out here trying to be somebody yeah somebody want to be you and, yeah. and you gotta think how does that sound does that that sound about 
but backwards. I mean, so many people get s- discouraged because they feel like they haven't really accomplished a lot. And some people have actually. You've actually accomplished way more than you think you have. You're yeah. actually way more successful than you think yeah. you are. Like, don't let people or haters tear you down or even the devil the devil get in your head like oh you ain't nothing all you did was this and all you did that no celebrate your accomplishments and your wins you made it out of 2020 first of all can we just give a hand clap you watching this you made it out of 2020 that is the hugest accomplishment are you kidding you know how many people died and not just even in the united states globally like let's be for real like stop taking stuff too serious the only thing you need to take it serious is the lord but other than that live your life live your life have fun do what is the desires of your heart and if it's not working out you need a heart posture change and check you know but yeah you have probably accomplished way more than you think mm-hmm. You're you're probably ten hundred times better than what you think or feel that you are. Yeah, because most of the things when is it most well a lot of the things that we are not satisfied with mm-hmm. in our lives. Let's just call it that. Like with you, I don't hate you cut cut you off, but you I'm like super proud of you. That you go to work every single day and you do it at the best of your ability and you do it with such grace and loyalty and and faithfulness and you go there every single day and you do all you can and you help and you see what you can do and and just stick it around for so, 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 so long because like you've been saying, opportunities have been coming to you left and right at the freaking Simpson plant. At the um freaking <laughs> y'all, I done seen these huge smoke things. They look so scary, but you, <laughs> but you sticking to it and you sticking to your guns because if you were a type of person of, oh yeah, I can get more money here. Yeah, I can do this here. Yeah, I can do. It. Where would you be? So super proud of you that you have that type of mindset. And I just hope that everybody can have that mindset and to focus on on their lives and what will be better for them and not making decisions and moving for the wrong reasons. So I think for me, for the most part, and and, and I'm not I'm not going to say I'm 100 percent on it. Um, because, you know, I, I think through, through life, through, you, you know, the years, I've definitely had, <laughs> huh? You've had your days. I, I definitely have had, yeah, those days. Yeah. Um, but, um, for the most part, I feel like if you, if you, you chase peace, if you chase happiness, if you chase true peace and happiness, and I'm, and when I say that, you know what? truly makes you happy and and if what truly makes you happy is to do something that don't make a whole lot of money whatever it may be in in the current situation right now you're saying to yourself this is what truly made me happy but i know it don't pay very well but if you chase that and you give that your all and it's truly what gives you peace and it gives you happiness and it's not against God. And matter of fact, you pray on it, and and it feels like everything is is good when you're in this place. I can guarantee you, at some point, money is going to come with it, mm-hmm. or yes. or you're just going to be satisfied. You you're just going to be given what you need. You might not have a whole lot of stuff that you. Well, you might not have a, gl- a whole lot of glitz and ga- glamour. Mm-hmm. You might not have that because, again, which all that's demonic anyway. That Screw might it. not be <laughs> for you anyway. <laughs> because what? Because and I'm, I'm not five dollars on a pair of jeans, three hundred dollars on a pair of shirts. Yeah, and I mean, it, and maybe not nothing that crazy, but you might not be able to eat whatever you want, whenever you want. You might not be able to. You know some of the simpler things uh, of 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 life. 
um, that a lot of people take for granted because mm-hmm. there are things that, again, you talk about, hell, just buying, just going to Walmart and buying a pair of pants. For some people, that's a de- that's a big deal. Well, it is now because of uh, the price. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, but then you got you got some people that only shop at dealers, and then you got some people that need to go to to to, to Neiman Marcus and 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 Saks Fifth and mm-hmm. and all these places, like you said, spending fifteen hundred dollars on pants. So you know, you got the different categories. Do you got hell? Some people just going to the Goodwill and buying a pair of pants. You it's a deal. Thrift. You know, it it is it is what it is, and that that's so that's what i'm saying being you being grateful and being 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 comfortable in where you are and like i said and if you got peace and where mm-hmm. you at mm-hmm. you ain't you ain't got nothing to worry about if you find if you find with going to the goodwill and getting your clothes and and that works for you the, my father is like that that man would go to the Goodwill and go get. He gonna say, "I'm going to work in him anyway. Would I need to go spend?" That's just who he is. Mm-hmm. That's him. Mm-hmm. He gonna go spend seven dollars on a pair of pants. Go get, and he only gonna buy one or two pair at a time. Come on, if you don't, if you don't need, if he, if he don't need four pair of pants at the given time, if he tore a hole in one pair of pants. Today you go to the, to the Goodwill tomorrow, buy a pair of pants, and that's it. Mm. And 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 that's a simple life. Now I don't like to live that quite that simple. Um, however, uh, I also don't want to. I've never really necessarily had a desire to spend thousands and hundreds of dollars on clothes and 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 that type of and, and jewelry and shoes and all of that. Just just ain't really necessarily my thing especially again as of later in life that you know of course when i was younger i thought that that was cool spending three and four hundred dollars on a pair of sneakers and you know two three four hundred dollars on a jersey and this crazy stuff but you know that was then Mm -hmm. and again as an adult in maturing in mm-hmm. life and understanding a lot of things that are you know you go back and you think all the money that i've blown like <laughs> what I could have done with it. like if i just had put that money uh-huh. away somewhere we definitely have to say more in google or something you know yeah. back back in 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 2005 if i just Spent that thousand dollars. I went to the mall and blew and just invested in YouTube Google. Too. Shoot, you know, or like, YouTube, I or, you know, YouTube. whatever. <laughs> um, but you know, that's that, not it's, our path. It, it's, it, it was what it was. But that's again, not our path. exactly. But you know, again, that's a what it could have should have type of right. thing. Just um, find and you can't, peace. you can't do that. Um, but if you, if you truly are peaceful in what you're doing, yeah. Um, I guarantee you, you're gonna get you. You're gonna get what you need. You, you are going to. God is going to provide you what you need. Mm-hmm. Now, again, don't be mistaken. That don't mean that I'm saying that you will get riches of the world. It may not happen for you because that's probably not gonna be good for you anyway. Mm-hmm. When you get those riches. You are not going to know what to do with them. Mm-hmm. You are not going to be a good steward of said riches. Can't get now, a crackhead a million dollars. There is, there are people that have a lot of money that are good stewards of it. Very small percentage, a very very small percentage of mm-hmm. people in the world that has riches. Probably the ones that didn't that, chase. For yeah, riches. and a lot. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It's definitely a lot of the people who. The 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 they money just came. Yeah. The money just came to yeah. him. It it kind of it was what it was. Right. It is what it is. You know, I was just kind of doing. I doing mean, what I love. to a certain to a certain extent, I feel like Bill Gates is kind of like that. I don't know really what his religious belief is or whatever. I ain't I don't really know a whole lot about Bill Gates, but he, you know, to be honest, he's just doing what he do, bro. He was just a computer nerd. He was just he just is what he is. And it just happened to turn into something mm-hmm. that made him billions of dollars. Mm-hmm. 
he wasn't chasing money. He was just doing what he did, and it happened to get to that. And yeah. if it gets to that, then it gets to that. Yeah. And but find peace, guys. Find peace. Find happiness and be content with... Be happy. Let I me mean, not say content, because some of us could be bigger than what we are, but be happy and appreciative for what you have now. Every single thing that you have, be appreciative for it. <laughs> Anyway, so we're going to move on to our black facts of the episode. I said we were going to do one every single episode. And in honor of Master's Week, <laughs> tomorrow, April 13th, guess who won the Masters? Mm -hmm. Back in 1997 at 21 years old. Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods um, wins the 61st Masters Tournament in Augusta, Georgia, at the age of 21, becoming the youngest to ever win the tournament. Tiger Woods, the golfing is something that I always wanted to try and get into. <laughs> And back in the day when money was my everything, I was like, oh, the lowest person make like six figures. Like, I was like, why couldn't I have gotten into golfing, child? But, you know, that's the men, too, though. The women, I don't even know much about that. But, yeah, I just think that was a cool, interesting fact. Um, He did actually just break another record today, as a matter of fact. Mm -hmm. um, he broke the most consecutive masters cuts um which if you don't know a whole lot about golf it, basically golf tournaments is four rounds so most of the time they play thursday friday saturday sunday thursday and friday you got to make a certain score to play saturday and sunday mm -hmm. he i think got 24 or 25 consecutive um cuts made so if he if he played now i think like two he had to bow out because his back was hurting and all that so those don't count but if he actually played through the first two rounds he's made the cut for 24 or 25 years straight which is kind of wild too all righty that is the black fact of the episode and Thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Marriage Mondays. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we will see you guys on the next episode. Bye. <laughs> like to give angels. Like, <laughs> like girl, this is not going to be on top. <laughs>